Hello, this video will demonstrate how to view enrollment requests within PeopleSoft. Enrollment requests are created whenever a student attempts to enroll, drop, or swap a class within MyASU. Enrollment requests are helpful to view in case a student is unable to enroll, drop, or swap a class. To view an enrollment request, we will go to the main menu, Records and Enrollment, Enroll Students, and Enrollment Request Search. On this page, you will just need to click the search button, and another search page will be pulled up. To search for a student on this page, you will need to fill out at least two fields. You can fill out an academic career, a term, enrollment request ID, enrollment request source, enrollment request action, enrollment action reason, a user ID, an impl ID, or a class number. For this video, I will choose the academic career as undergraduate, and I will fill in an impl ID. And then I will hit search. All the enrollment requests for this student will be pulled up. The enrollment request list is split into 48 fields, which are split into various different tabs. Each tab contains different fields, which contain various information. For the tab fields 1 through 7, the user ID is the ID of the person who requested the enrollment request. The ID is the EMPL ID of the person who requested the enrollment request. And then the term, class number, subject area, catalog number, and academic career describe what class the enrollment request was for. Now I'll go to fields 8 through 11. The last update date time field shows when the enrollment request was requested. And the enrollment request source shows where the enrollment request came from. Now I'll go to fields 12 through 19. The enrollment request action field shows what action was done with the enrollment request. The units taken, course count, and repeat code describe more about the classes that the enrollment request was for. Now I'll go on to fields 41 through 44. The enrollment request detail status field shows some information about the enrollment request. Different letters in this field are codes for different meanings. An S stands for success, an M stands for success plus a message, meaning that the class was most likely a general studies, E stands for error, and P stands for pending, most likely that the student is just holding the courses within their shopping cart. Fields 20 through 40 and 45 through 48 show information mainly about overrides, which we will not have to worry about right now. Now we can also click the personalize link, and we'll be able to personalize what fields we see. Once you are done personalizing the fields, you can scroll to the bottom and click OK. And then your fields will be updated in the view here. And that is the end of this video. Continue on in the Blackboard Workshop to gain access to these security roles within PeopleSoft.